Olivia Caroline Pope is the main character of the show Scandal, a political thriller television series running from 2012 to 18. The former communications director founded her own consulting firm, Olivia Pope and Associates, where she is noted to not just fix issues, but to fix lives with her team dubbed Gladiators in Suits. Olivia wills away scandals just as fast as they come to be, taking on numerous of the political and social elite, all while hiding the fact she is a pivotal contender, maneuvering events at the heart of it all alongside her team. Olivia is not only glamorous, eloquent, and charming, but also diligent, intelligent, perceptive, and beyond ambitious. In spite of the fact, Olivia will often go for an underhanded tactic, and at times herself, has a scandalous nature. This is hidden away in her personal life, especially her love affair with Fitzgerald Grant. As the famous and often shortened Groucho Marx quote goes, behind every successful man is a woman. She is one to be loyal, aid people in need at their lowest point, and set down a path for people to do the right thing. A part of Olivia's firm is image consultation, the main focus of an image consultant is to dress, develop style, and purchase clothing alongside defining body language and etiquette to suit the coveted image of the client. She is able to improve the appearance, behavior, and communication style of her clients for their needs. To witness the strength of her character first thing in the morning, live. Live? Quinn, help Janine with wardrobe. Let's go, people! We need current but classic, professional yet relatable. Evaluating the effect of a person's imagery, as well as extensive knowledge on how to curate this and relation to social function. My image? What about my image? Research shows that if a woman candidate is perceived as too pretty or too plain, voters turn against her. As we know, our personal style has a psychological impact and communicates non-verbally. At the rate of five to seven seconds, a person will subconsciously form an opinion through an intake of visual information. Clothing influences perception and may be a variable utilized to control the narrative, propel a concept forward, or simply present oneself in a preferred, necessary, or authentic manner. Image consulting allows for one to have an expert hone the narrative through a crafted look that is complemented and strengthened by etiquette as an extension of taste, character, and individuality. This branch of work was coined in 1975 when John T. Malloy published Dress for Success and explained how the art of dress and one's personal image directly affects personal achievement capacity. Though style, fashion, and nonverbal communications are often self-perceived by opinion, the book was based on tests and studies conducted around the concept of power dressing, showing substantial results. Power dressing is a purposeful convergence of our own natural identity and body language and hand of culture and style to produce a fashioning of power by integrating the power dress concept into the execution of a look. You utilize adornments, color scheme, garment construction, and your own essences as well as body lines to produce an impression of dominance, authority, or sovereignty. With her background in communication, this way of dress is one by which Olivia often partakes in. Traditionally, when power dressing is thought of, it echoes menswear greatly, but Olivia's take on the concept is very much individually thought out. Her style is an elevated feminine repertoire derived from the concept of power as well as the classic traditions of capital style through a lens of elegance. Lynn Paolo, the show's costume designer, has utilized both high-end and accessible fashion to capture Olivia's taste in a beautifully curated manner, from Burberry trenches and Max Mara capes to Dior blouses and Armani pantsuits. 
finished off Jimmy Choo's, just to name a few of the highly coveted designer pieces that speak to Olivia. Her style is not just present in an everyday setting, but also her loungewear carries a similar spirit and comfortable, luxurious pieces. When the occasion calls for, Olivia elevates her own codes of dress that are ready usually beyond reach to sport gowns such as a Vera Wang gown. Her penchant for sophisticated, minimal looks enriched with complexity and the details of power accessories was developed earlier on. In season one, the defining Olivia Pope look came to be through a stark white Tory Burch trench coat and a Prada bag that would lead the costume designer to dub Olivia as a Prada girl, the most suitable fashion house for the leader of the gladiators in suits. Prada's mission statement and intent is careful observation of and curiosity about the world, society, and culture are at the core of Prada's creativity and modernity. The Prada woman sports almost fashionless fashion. For perspective, Prada in relation to the fashion house of Miu Miu, a subsidiary, is similar in tone as the older sister, with intellectual flair captured and sophisticated, dignified and refined beauty, while the Miu Miu girl holds a naivete and is more playful, looking up to her. This is Olivia's dynamic in her life. Prada suits Olivia well and captures her essence as someone who is refined, considered, and the act of refuting, following a path a woman should quote-unquote take and instead setting down her own path while aiding others on theirs. In episode 6 of season 1, titled The Trail, Olivia's origins are revealed in a pink boucle Armani coat over an ivory blouse, pearl earrings, and a streamlined suavely cut gray trouser finished off of a goyard bag on this specific look paolo stated this outfit was the beginning this is noted to be one of olivia's top outfits due to the connection it has with fits and the birth of her team it also has a great amount of significance in regards to her own personal memories the clothing of shooting this episode altogether produced 17 or 18 looks for the episode to capture Olivia's story visually. Although Olivia has a look that is unwavering, just as she is to the eye, through codes of dress, the language of how these elements function reflect her development through the recurring repertoire with a color palette that speaks directly to us as viewers. Her wardrobe consists of mainly whites, blush, grays, beige, and creams. They neutralize monochromatic tones in terms of styling, allows for not only versatility in silhouette, line, and of course accessorizing, but also for this integration of personality to be embedded into the garments, such as a display of intellect with power in professional settings, or revealing emotional states in softer ones. The hues of her looks bring this not only into the story of scandal, but into Olivia's story, her inner life that is concealed. At times, this is more direct and others more subtle. For example, the contrasting looks, such as the Armani black and white chevron blazer, a seamless zigzag pattern with black beneath it all, symbolizing the conflict and battles outside in the darkness of Olivia's inner world at this time that she needs to hide despite the struggle outside. Another contrasting look was a flashback, a simple clean and white Michael Kors dress with romantic lace embellishments as well as her secret involvement in her professional relationship with Fitzgerald that evolves into an affair. The outfit is as loaded as the situation. This look hints at her awareness, her true feelings, and the iconic established image that she always sports in public. One of the most emblematic ensembles was even established as a title of the episode for season 2, episode 22, White Hats Back On. The term white hat is symbolic of goodness 
it's very much often referred to. Here, it makes an appearance. The one who sports the white hat is the one who is defined as admirable and honorable. The stark white look conveys Olivia is not only paving well-set paths for others, but one for herself admits all of the chaos. She takes the metaphorical white hat on and off. Her style is telling of this, even though there may not be one physical hat present. Her distinctive style shifts do reveal where she is on this spectrum. The way she styles herself reflects her state of mind and progressively throughout the series, her moral evolution. The costume designer on this stated, the darkening of her looks in season three captures her personal life more. Olivia, even though she has a strong sense of self, while with Fitz begins to lose herself, her coats of dress slowly distance from its roots, and Olivia begins to dress in a similar manner to how Melly initially did, a pseudo take on filling the role that she knew deep down that she does not truly want to be in. We see the inner life surface more when she leaves Fitz in season five. Moving forward, Olivia opts for much more saturated colors, such as bold reds and deep blues over pastels to signify her spirit of newfound independence in her signature garments. How Olivia is one to be loyal to our look, associates, and loved ones. There is a consistency that grows to be more pronounced, dramatic, and stylish as it becomes evident that she is in charge, taking her life back. This was not a revival of confidence, but a new manner by which she could channel herself in an openly determined one, rather than a subtle and understated one. The costume designer developed color codes to give visual cues to viewers directly in regards to Olivia's feelings, using garments as a channel of exploration. Even if you're unaware of color theory and psychology, the impact of the garment is still felt as we subconsciously already have these connections and take in the visual communications while watching. On this, she revealed, whenever she wore orange, it was because she had to have a confrontational scene with somebody. Red was more for danger. It really depends on her character at the moment. Each script we treat as an individual story, and sometimes there is a story arc within that script about that color. In two season six and seven, as Olivia now serves as chief of staff and the new command, she crosses to the dark side. Her accumulation of power translates into her new dark wardrobe, consisting mainly of darker hues and black. On the visual spectrum, black is the absorption of all color and can be defined as the visual experience when light cannot reach the eye. The subtle soft tones and vibrant hues of Olivia's morals have been absorbed into this newfound state. The former soft lines, capes, and draping silhouettes, signature handbags, gloves, and delicate jewelry have now been replaced with tight, strong, structural, almost architectural lines that appear just as a cloth armor. Paolo expressed, she's still a gladiator in a suit, but she is also the Dark Knight now. Rather than her previous brands such as Prada, she is now sporting brands that are much more avant-garde or gratifying, such as Alexander McQueen, Tom Ford, and Victoria Beckham. These sleek lines do soften though. The return of Burberry and Ralph Lauren reappear as both an homage and hand of Olivia's character development. For the finale, she comes full circle, back to the staple Olivia White trench and Prada bag. Olivia Pope is not just a style icon in the world of scandal, but also in real life, the costume designer expressed. I hope the show has shown women how to be themselves in the workplace and how we can all find our own strut with fashion as our inspiration. This intent had major impact. Olivia Pope was named one of the top 10 best dressed characters of the year 2013 by Vanity Fair and also had influence over the wardrobe of many. The Olivia Pope look was one to emulate and channel in spirit. 
Scandal's first fashion collaboration was with the luxury department store Saks Fifth Avenue, featuring the designer ensembles Olivia Sported. Later on, the Limited released a 42-piece collection with the show's aesthetic captured in signature pieces with tailoring in Pope's image, such as the ivory coats, wrap capes, elegant trousers, and soft sweaters, all in the classic gladiator in a suit era. This character is one who has visually dominated on screen and off as her style translates into real life for those who see themselves in it to sport and adorn the codes that provoke essences of beauty, femininity, confidence, intelligence, and elegance. Olivia's knowledge of the world with her personal emotions define her ways of dress. Her color journey adds dimension to the story and her looks are just as daring as she is. Though Olivia is a fictional character with some morally dark areas. Us. There are many lessons we can take from her sartorial career and personal life. She is the embodiment of dress for the job you want and going beyond what is traditionally taken as a powerful or competent look to curate a wardrobe without ever compromising who she is. And the words of Mucha Prada in honor of the Prada woman, what you wear is how you present yourself to the world, especially today. Fashion is an instant language. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe, like, turn on notifications, comment. Thank you so much for watching.